Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Biggie here with you. Happy Monday to you. We are back on the Troll Shaman. He goes by the name of Colt. What be happening? Cool stuff right there. Did you see that blue stuff? It was awesome. This is a viewer created and suggested hardcore challenge. Very custom, special challenge. It's called the Gem Master Challenge. Yes, it is. And if you're not sure of the rules, I know you're listening right now, Boomy. Should I say it? Should I say it, man? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> if you're not sure of the rules, you can find the complete rule set in the very first episode. However, it's been a while. I don't think I've gone over the rules since that very first episode. So here we go. We're going to do it. Let me open up my uh, my sheet here. This, whoops, give me that. Come over here. This is called the Gem Master Challenge, created by Mr. Phonojam, one of my viewers, one of my subscribers. We have probably, I think, 10 more to go. I took, uh, I asked people if they could come up with creative ideas, and boy, did I get feedback. This is our third viewer challenge. The objective, collect the 12 gems of Azeroth. Now, we can only collect these gems by mining. Well, not only, we have picked up a gem from a mob. That's also possible, but it's pretty rare. You don't have to be a miner, I'm just saying. However, so here we go. The 12 gems of Azeroth are as follows. Malachite, Tiger's Eye, Shadow Gem, Lesser Moonstone, Mossigat, Jade, the Citrine, Aquamarine, Star Ruby, Large Opal, Blue Sapphire, and a Huge Emerald. Now, so far, we have gotten three of them. We've got the Tiger's Eye. We've got Malachite, Tiger's Eye, and a Shadow Gem. However, we ha Look at this. Another Shaman. Hey, there. Hey, brother. He's on his journey right here. He's on his journey. Do your stuff, brother. Do your stuff, man. You got it. You got that. Okay, uh, let me continue. I'm freaked out because I saw another player. Last episode, we got a Tiger's Eye and a Shadow Gem, and uh, following Phono Jam's rule set, we had to delete the Tiger's Eye. Yes, we did. Let me continue with the rules here. Now, we have to play in Classic. Classic Era. Not Wrath, Classic. Any race, any class is allowed. All buffs are allowed. Now, it is not permadeath, but each death... We have to roll dice. Now, if you die with no gems in your bag, then the challenge is over. As long as you have a gem in your bag, we will be rolling dice. Uh, to So the dice will act as a... Um, it'll, it'll take up a death for us, essentially. And uh, we'll get into the rules. I finally understand them about how that works. Now, since we had to delete... The Tiger's Eye, last episode, I cannot gain another level until I acquire another Tiger's Eye. That's right. If, I, if I'm not paying attention and level up before we get the Tiger's Eye, challenge has been failed. Mounts are allowed, but once all 12 of these gems are collected, if that ever happens, we have to run from wherever we are on foot back to our capital city, city and display them to our race faction leader, which is going to be Vol'jin, who is an Ogrimmar. We are not allowed to track minerals, and we are not allowed to use any gathering add-ons. No, we are not. Why does that keep <laughs> disappearing? Here we go. There is no auction house. There's no groups. There's no trading. There's also no questy, which I love. Now, there is a special kind of thing down here, but I will cover that... There's a special gems section, but we may never see that because that's end game. I think you're probably level 50. There are some special bonus gems here in, in Azeroth that you can get at higher levels. 
we might not see them. If and when that comes up, we'll cover the, uh, the rules there. But that is the rule set. Let's continue. Now, tell you what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump off here. We're going to take a shortcut. Boy, I didn't mean to fall that far. So last episode, we started to... We're working on this quest, shaman-specific quest called Call of Fire. Let's go turn this in. This gets turned in right over here across the bridge. Call of Fire. Let's play it. But you did not come here for a history lesson, did you? This is Tef You came for the eternal flame and fire Telf. totem. The first step is to create a sapta and bind you to the flame. Mm -hmm. I can create the fire sapta for you if you bring me two items. Two. The first is Fire Tar, a simple fire item tar. usually carried by Razormane spellcasters in Eastern Barrens. Eastern the second Barons. item will be more dangerous, a reagent pouch from one of the cultists of the Burning Blade. You can find them in a cave above the ravines northeast of Razor Hill. In a cave, northeast, Razor Hill. So, right up here, they're going to be up in this area, and that's what we will probably do first. Now, the casters in the Barrens will be all up around this area. So, both of them are fairly close. In fact, I'm wondering if we should... I'll tell you what. No, we'll do this first. We'll come do this quest first because our hearthstone is here. So we can always hearth back after we get one of the items. Yes. Let's swim across here. Hope everyone's doing well today. Happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great weekend. No. No. Did that not taunt him? Now he runs off. Okay, here we go. Your task is complete. You have destroyed the demon seed as Nero bid. Upgrade. But this is not the end. The destruction of the demon seed sent waves of power through the ether. Waves of staggering force. I felt them. And I am sure other beings did as well. Others who will wonder why their toy was broken. But regardless of future troubles, I have something for you. Nero sent it as payment. And he bid me thank you. So, thank you. You're quite welcome. No follow-up there. I feel better wearing a, like a chess piece. Instead of the robes. I only like the robes if I'm a mage or a warlock. Maybe a priest. Yeah, priest works. Shaman, no. No. Uh, I'm not paying attention to what I was going to do here. Let's run back this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> However, this is not going to be anywhere near as risky, I don't think, as Skull Rock. We've leveled up a couple of times here. And we kind of have out-leveled Duratar now. Which, I'm, I don't want to say out-leveled, but some of these mobs are gray. And the mobs we still get credit for should just be green for us. So it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. The real challenge will be the drop rate. Yes. I believe we gave up in Skull Rock. We killed, uh, I think, 50, something like that. I think it was 49 mobs we killed without a drop. We were looking for a searing collar or something. Didn't get it, so I gave up on the quest. You won't pull me into your grindiness, Blizzard. No, I just won't do it. That's right. So I've got Kill Tracker up. Let's me know how many times I've killed a mob. And I've never had a character on this server, so whatever number you see down there in the bottom right is how many times we've killed it. That's right. It's hard to believe I've only killed one of these. Oh, it's a dire malted boar. I see. So you've got the regular boars, and then you've got the other things. We've killed this thing five times. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be coming right up this way. We can get up here this way, I believe, is the way up. I really got to pay attention. We have to get that tiger's eye. And now that I understand... Oh, no, not Rubus Fresh. 
Rube is fresh. What happened, my friend? Rube is fresh. Rube is fresh. It's the same. We're the same, you and I. The, the hair. The troll. Is this going to make any sense? Does it, maybe I can make it look like I'm carrying her. Rube is fresh. No. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. We uh, also, we have engineering. Going to be working on that. Yes, we are. I will be following a guide. I never use guides. I just I don't like them, honestly. I like to play the game by myself, figure things out by myself. However, just having said that, I understand professions are a little bit different. You can definitely not level up your professions efficiently and it can work against you. So try to use a guide there. Gloria, what's going on? I don't have a buff I could give you, but if I could, I damn sure would. Do we have anything to smelt? Let's smelt up some copper bars here. Let's do that. And we'll sell that. We're looking for some silver and some tin, but I don't think we're going to find any. In the Barrens, we'll find some, but not here in Duratar. I'm pretty sure it's just copper that you get here. I could... There may be a... Maybe a tin or silver. I, I've heard that you can only see silver nodes at nighttime, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got to look at the thing again. Probably have to go back to the engineering trainer and train something else out or train something else up. Make sure I can't Speak learn anything friend. here. I can. Uh, now I was holding off on these two things, just because we don't ha we didn't have the money, but it's only uh, we have some money now, so I feel better about doing be that. Safe. I'll be safe. Yeah, now we just have to find them. Let's sell this though. Hey, bro. Thrall Hall. Thrall Hall. Strength and honor. Let's roll. We can find a tiger's eye before we level up. Surely we can. There's the cave we need. Look at that. Looks sinister. Get a screenshot that says, yeah, taking more chances. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, so today for me is a Saturday. It's Saturday afternoon. Wondering if I live streamed for you guys would will be yesterday. I know it's weird to talk about like that, but I, I'm wondering. Right now, I'm feeling okay. My anxiety levels have been okay. But, I don't know. I guess I'll know tomorrow. Let's see if they run off. Doesn't look like they do. So I'm not going to worry about the totems right now. I see a copper vein in there. And another one over here. Very nice. Let's go get those. Uh, I like that they don't have void walkers. Of course, I don't know what's deeper in, but... Makes these mobs a whole lot easier. We don't want to fall down there. We're looking for Tiger's Eye. And if I do pick up a gem, I'm going to roll first. Because last episode, we got two gems. 
off of one node. That's right. We got the Tiger's Eye and a Shadow Gem. Did I not loot him? I guess I did not. She's got some, Oh, she's a caster. Let's see if she casts anything else. Gonna heal? No. Puts a dot up on us. Dustwind Cave. Spooky. It's pretty much identical to the other cave. Blizzard has, like, I think four or five cave systems. I get it. Look at these guys. He's fighting literally with a, a nail through a board. Which is pretty horrific. <laughs> Come on, Tiger's Eye. Ooh, boy. Is that five taps? Wasn't paying attention. I think it might have been. What was that? That was weird. Got another caster here. I think I can LOS. Matter of fact, I can LOS. I will. I bet you feel foolish. Tough jerky. Oh, oh, this is, uh, so this is, uh, not the cave I thought it was. So good. The interrupt. Actually, this is a pretty unusual cave. There are a couple other other types of these, this style, but you don't see them that often. I've got a food crate back here. What are you protecting, huh? What's in this food crate? Let's see. Probably some cake. Are you hoarding cake? No, shiny apples. Keep your shiny apple, bro. Now, I want to be careful over here. In case there's a mob, he'll run around. Oh, we got an imp here. There is a mob here. Okay. What about this? Does you have an imp as well? He does. Well, how did... Oh, he gets up here. Okay, I got to be careful here. I got to be careful. He's in a bad spot right there. Okay, here's how I play it. Did you really resist? Totem is good, though. Puts... Puts... Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm not gonna panic. I might panic. Can you please die? Uh, slowing totem. Popping a health pot. Am I? I'm not. They're being slowed. I'm gonna get the hell out. I'm gonna save the health pot. We pulled the one that was down. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Okay, we're fine now. Let's do a heal. Reset. Okay. We didn't panic. Luckily, these mobs weren't Why is he here? Surely that pulled him. It did pull him. That was strange. His mob was just sitting there. Or his pet. OK, 
Okay. Which one was it? Was it the one on the top or the bottom? Well, I killed this one. It was this one. Yeah, it was this guy. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, that's what we need. Yes. Now, I kind of want to see what's at the back of this cave. I want to... Let's continue here. I want to see what's at the back. I don't know if I've ever been all the way in here. Surely I have at one point. Let's have it. Let's see. I'm not looting here. There could be a rare back here. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. Copper vein. Boy, we have quite a few things back here. Okay, I've changed my mind. I I wanna I wanna head on out. Let's roll. I chickened out. I chickened out. I want to get out of here before these mobs come back. She's back. you feel foolish. I'll have to get a few more drinks. Okay, we got the reagent pouch. Actually, I, f I could just hearth to the crossroads. Let's actually do that. That's a little bit smarter because what we need is uh, it's closer to just go to the hearth, the, uh, the crossroads and then run back east a little bit. And... As the wind on the plains, you are always welcome here. Well, thank you, good sir. Appreciate that. Sell that. It's a quest item. We don't need the tough jerky. We want to save all that. Yes. Get some more milk. Go ahead and do... One, two, three, four. Just get two stacks of it. We shall meet again. We might meet again, brother. All right, let's head out. And let's review this quest. The second item will be... No, okay, so I create the first app. If you bring me two items, the first is a fire tar carried by the razor main spell casters. Okay, definitely up this way. I'm getting pretty close. I gotta be... I can't level up. I cannot level up. And if I happen to level up and don't realize it, somebody definitely called me out on it. I have to get this. So I might actually not turn this quest in because I don't know how much XP we're going to get for it. Does it tell me? It does not. Because this is classic. I've got to get that tiger's eye. So we need to look for nodes. This is a spellcaster? Yes, it is. There's usually a node over here. Am I comfortable with this? I think I am. Pull two. Okay, as long as it doesn't aggro this thing.
Hold another one. I'm not going to panic. Everything's fine, but I am going to berserk. Resisted it. Okay. Big heal. Not enough mana. Let's drink. Boy. We are diseased and fairy fire on us. Which hurts because we basically have no armor. Look at that. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. We got what we needed. So this goes back to him, I believe. Right? You can find them in a... Yeah. Bring it back to him. Yes, yeah, so we have to go back to Telf. Okay? He's just across the river down here. So let's... Let's move out. I'm looking for... Looking for nodes. Also looking not to get wrecked on the way out of here. There's almost always nodes in that back corner there. I wish I could see how much XP I'm going to get. Now, we don't have any rested XP now. We've used it. I feel like we would not level up if I turned on in this quest, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to take a chance there. We're going to head down this way a little bit safer, I think, than running through there. There's a lot of mobs up that way. I think I can safely turn in this quest without leveling up. I'm going to be real sorry if that's not the case. Where are my nodes at? I gotta say, it, it, it makes... Personally, it makes mining a little bit more enjoyable for me because we are not using um, the node tracker. It This feels uh, uh, a little bit more realistic. You know, I know that's maybe silly to say, but I, I like it. I think some if I in my hardcore challenges in the future, uh, maybe I might not use um, like herbalism tracker or any kind of tracker really. I feel like that might be better. Keep it a little bit more real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're heading right over this way. I just want to really would like to see a node. Not seeing them though. That music up a little bit. All right, let's go find Telf. Really cool how they have this uh, this little path here. Really interesting. Every race has like, or every class has like a little. They have their own class quests that they do, which is kind of interesting. 
Please don't let me level up here. Please don't let me level up. I'm I'm not, right? What are you doing, man? These will do nicely, adventurer. Fire is more than chaos and destruction. Do well to remember that. It is also about life and creation. All things are tied together in such a way. Forces oppose one another, but at the same time, one cannot exist without the other. Both extinguish one another, but other. also give one another meaning. Always meaning. remember this. Yeah. Using different types of magic in conjunction with one another will show not only true skill, but great wisdom. There's no way I level up here. There's just no way. The fire scepter okay, good. is finished. The time has come for you to face the flame. Use the scepter at the shrine and head to the top of the mountain to face the manifestation there. He will not attack until you are ready, but he will realize you are able to see him. Strike him down swiftly, adventurer, for he shall only grow in power the longer you take to slay him. Once he is defeated, place his glowing embers within the brazier and light the torch. Where do I do this? Defeat the minor manifestation of fire. Atop the Shrine of Eternal Flame. This is the Shrine of the, dur the Dormant Flame. See you later. Where is that at? The Shrine of Eternal Flame? Wait, was this back... This might actually be in... Valley of Trials? It might be. I'm not actually sure. He didn't specifically say... Okay, well, I don't think I can risk another quest, honestly. I We're going to have to find Tiger's Eye before I go any further. It's just two bars, and I... Yeah, I don't think I want to risk it. 30 minutes in. Let me see. Is that here? I feel like it might be back up here, man. And head to the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to use it here. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on now. Hold on. Where am I going? Hold on now. I don't want to finish it, though. I don't want to complete it. I think what he's saying... I use this here, and then I take it somewhere else, is kind of what it sounds like. It's probably a trials right there. Let me see here. Does that have to be equipped? Set. Oh, here. It's here. It's here. Dude. Don't pull the other ones, please. No, I'm not going to turn this quest in because I feel like we'll level up. He's immune to that. Obviously, he's immune to it. It's fire. Wait, 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 wait. I 
I can't do this, man. I can't do this yet. I hope this doesn't wear off. I can't do this yet. I'm terrified that I'm going to level up. I'm going to get two bars out of it. Yeah. 1200 XP would would overlevel me. So we can't do this yet. Now what I'm worried about, I'm hoping that this doesn't have some kind of weird like you have to use it. Like it's temporary. This is what I'm worried about. Okay, we're going to hold off on this. May fire burn within your heart, adventurer. The elements await you. Okay, I can do this again. I can do this part again. If it does wear off. However, I'm going to call it right here. Next episode, we're going to run around and we are going to get... We have to find a tiger's eye. I'm just scared. Oh, there's only 18 minutes remaining here. Okay, so hold on. I have this. I don't think it matters. If this... This will wear off. I just get it from him because I have that thing in my bag. I'll just get it from him and we'll re we'll do it next episode after I get the tiger's eye. But for right now, we got to wrap this up. Yes, we do. All righty, guys and gals. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Colt and I, we will see you again uh, tomorrow. Yes, we will. Smell you later. Smell you later. Take care. Peace.